Hi, it's Larry here, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. Welcome to This Week on Xbox. We've taken the show out of the studio this week, on the road down here to San Francisco, where we're taking a look at a bunch of new games, including some announcements that you are not gonna believe. I got a great parking space, didn't I? It's not really my car. All right, let's get into it. Let's take a look. Before we get to the games, head of Xbox Phil Spencer took to the stage to kick things off. We have a vision that we believe puts the gamer at the center of everything we're doing. 100% of our focus is on making sure that games that people can play on our platform are as great as they can be. And our long-term commitment is that we'll stay exactly focused on that. What games can you play on Microsoft platforms, making sure that's the best platform, best service, best content, best games that you can find. I'm here with Peter from The Coalition. Peter's gonna to talk to us about Gears of War Ultimate Edition on Windows 10. Peter, it looks gorgeous. Tell me about it. It is gorgeous. So if the Ultimate Edition on Xbox One came out last fall, this is, you could say, Ultimate Ultimate Edition. Now it's out on Windows 10. It's, it's not just a direct port. You guys really did a lot of work to make it really look and play great on Windows 10. Yeah, we rebuilt all the assets, all the models, all the textures, all 4K, taking advantage of the X12 and all that good stuff. Lock it up! Next! You're gonna show me how to play Minecraft with Oculus, which means I'm going into a Minecraft world, right? Chandelier, we have a bookcase, I've got a flower, and me! Ah! I'm in my world! Here it is, the man, Palmer Lucky, the inventor of Oculus Rift. Palmer, it's great to see you. It's great to be here. Now listen, we're talking about Minecraft on Oculus Rift. Tell us, tell us about that experience. So the real goal is to make you feel like you're inside of Minecraft using our virtual reality technology. And you know, the Minecraft team has done an incredible job of making Minecraft into an incredible VR experience. You're really making it feel like you're inside of the game instead of just watching it happen on the other side of the screen. And they've made a lot of performance optimizations, UI optimizations. It's really an incredible experience. And what I love is, I mean, you guys are tremendously hot right now. Everyone's really excited about getting their hands on Oculus uh, later this year. But Minecraft is one of the biggest, biggest games in the world now. Bringing those two together, that's just magical, isn't it? Well, it's magical because there's so many people out there who are interested in Minecraft that are more interested in VR now because, you know, they're dedicated to Minecraft, they spend tons of hours in it. There's a lot of people in the Minecraft community who are excited about VR because you're actually in the same space with somebody building these things. Thank you very much, Palmer. I'm here with Dan Greenewald from Turn 10. I'm really excited to talk about Forza Apex. Tell us about it, what is it? Well, Forza Motorsport 6 Apex is a curated and focused experience made specifically for Windows 10. Showcases DirectX 12, UWP platform, and we see this as a way of inviting a new type of player into the Forza fold and making them part of our tribe, people that love cars and are really into games. Now this will be available later this spring, downloadable on Windows 10. What are some things we can expect in the game? What, what type of, what type of uh, driving game is it? Well, every single experience in the game is more than a race. So you get in, we've got a video that might be narrated by uh, James May or Richard Hammond or, or Matt Farah, and they tell you a story about why these cars and tracks are paired so well. But also, as you play the game, there's a scoring system and an objective system that rewards you and challenges you to turn assists off or try driving in cockpit view or just get different experiences. All up, it's designed to have a lot of replay value and be really rewarding. I'm here with Ryan from Turn 10. Ryan, we're talking about Forza Motorsport 6 Porsche in the game. In the game. Tell me about that. Well, we're really excited to bring Porsche to Forza Motorsport 6. We've got 21 cars. We're introducing a new track, Virginia International Raceway. Right. We've got a career that spans eight hours. Uh, really excited to finally bring Porsche back to Forza Motorsport 6. We've got new multiplayer hoppers, leagues, rivals, and a destination with showcase events for Porsche fans. All right, less talking, more driving. Here we go. I'm here with Rikari from the Killer Instinct team. Rikari's gonna tell us about season three coming soon, right? It's coming, it's not even soon anymore. March 29th, we release on both Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. That's exciting. Tell us what's in season three. So season three is gonna launch with four characters. Fan favorites Kim Wu and Tusk are back in the game, as well as a couple of guest characters. 
the Arbiter from Halo, yeah. as well as Rash from Battletoads. Now there's some new features you're bringing to Season 3 as well. Let's Absolutely. go through those. We've gone through and we've relit every single stage in Season 3, including all of the characters on those stages. So when you see it, it's really going to pop. It's going to really make it look great. Now, coming to Windows 10, and, uh, and Xbox One at the same time, I hear it's going to allow crossplay. That is very true. Now, what does that mean? Basically, it means that we are all one Killer Instinct game. So if you're playing on Windows 10 PC or you're playing on Xbox One, you're going to hop into matchmaking and you're going to be able to play with your buddies, no matter which platform they're on. Another victory, yes, but there is always another battle. All right, here we are inside this massive room filled with Quantum Break. Now, of course, it's coming to Xbox One, but we're also playing it on Windows 10. Now, if you digitally pre-order Quantum Break on Xbox One, you will get the Windows 10 version absolutely free. Now, this is amazing because it's gonna share the game save, so you can play it on Xbox One, pick it up on uh, Windows 10, and go right back and forth. It's incredible, and the game looks like a ton of fun. Take a look. All right, remember Ori and the Blind Forest, that amazing award-winning game from last year on Xbox One? Well, get this, Ori and the Blind Forest, the definitive edition, is coming to Xbox One and Windows 10. Now, what does that mean? We are gonna have new areas, new abilities. You're now gonna be able to fast travel between points. There is a lot to this game, so I am really looking forward to jumping back into the world of Ori and the Blind Forest. Games are great, but I know a lot of folks are really excited about some of the great new features coming to Xbox One. I'm here with Mikey Barr from the Xbox Engineering Team. Mike, great to see you. Good to see you, Larry. Now, we got a lot of features coming in the next update. Can you kind of walk us through them? Yeah, March is going to be big. Big for parties. 16-person party chat coming to Xbox. Wow. You and 15 of your friends, all in the same party. Another big one? People Twitch broadcast all the time. Now their entire party will be heard on the broadcast. This is one of the top requests on feedback.xbox.com. You guys are bringing it in. That's really exciting. Now, I want to ask you about what's right behind us here. I see achievements in the snap. It looks a little different. We haven't seen this before. Yeah, people want fast access to the achievements and the games they're playing. So we've added it to the guide. Very easy access to see how you're doing on the achievements. What's the next one you got to go get? And it kind of tracks them all along there. So it's going to be make it yeah. even easier to unlock those achievements. Now, one of the big features that you were telling about earlier, I'm really excited about. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, people can now buy Xbox 360 back and back games right on Xbox One. That is huge for games with gold and all the backwards compatibility titles every month. Really yep. exciting. Thank you, Mike. You bet. That's just a look at a few of the great games on display. We also had other great spring titles, such as Below from our friends at Capybara, Pit People from The Behemoth, The Division from Ubisoft, and Dark Souls 3 from From Software. There you go, that's a look at just some of the games coming out this spring on Xbox. I hope you enjoyed our close look at them. Great to meet and chat with Lucky and see that Minecraft demo. Gears 4K look fantastic. Of course, Quantum Break and all the rest of the titles. So that's it for me. I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson down here in San Francisco for a very special edition of This Week on Xbox. See you next time.